Meanwhile, Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney says the impact of the United Kingdom's categorizing of St. Lucia as a holiday destination for the British is still left to be felt. To replace its blanket ban on foreign leisure trips, the UK government decided to sort countries into three categories, green, amber or red, depending on a range of factors including the proportion of the country's population that has been vaccinated, rates of infection and emerging variants. St. Lucia is among many Caribbean islands as well as the United States on the United Kingdom's amber list for travel. Prime Minister Chastney says the full implication of the restriction has not yet been determined. None of the countries in the Caribbean were able to make it onto the green list. Um, and even the United States was put into amber. I'm waiting to see over the next couple of weeks how that works out. Um, British Airways did reduce the number of flights from four to two. Um, I've been speaking to many of the hoteliers. They have not seen significant cancellations as yet, but they're also not receiving a lot of new bookings. Um, so I think everybody's waiting to see how the system works and whether in fact the British citizens gain confidence in going into an amber destination. People arriving from Amberlist countries are required to quarantine for 10 days at home on their return, whereas people arriving from Greenlist countries are not required to quarantine, but they must book and pay for a mandatory PCR test on or before day two of their return. The most restrictive protocol is for people arriving from Redlist countries. They are required to quarantine for a full 10 days on arrival in the UK at a designated UK port in a government-managed facility at their own cost, starting from £1,750 per person. Honorable Chastney says the concern lies in the insurability of travellers to amber and red destinations. If a person goes to a green light, the insurance companies seem to have said, yes, we will cover you. Um, if you go to an amber, it's still questionable as to whether the insurance companies are going to cover you or not. And certainly if you go to a red, my understanding is the insurance companies will not cover you. Prime Minister Chastney, however, noted that consumers will ultimately make their decision on whether to travel to red or amber list destinations. When the United Kingdom earlier in the year tried to restrict people from traveling from zones in the UK, we did not see any change. Um, the United States, even though all, almost all the Caribbean islands are in category four of the CDC, mm -hmm. I mean, American Airlines' load factor to St. Lucia for the month of May was 93%. I mean, when I traveled up on the flight, there was one empty seat. When I came back on the flight, there was no empty seats. Um, and we continue to see that, strength, that trend grow um, from day to day. So the consumers ultimately are going to make the decision. And we have to wait a little bit to see how the consumers react to these new protocols that the UK government has put in. And I, I think that that's how I, I envision it. That there's a protocol for green, a protocol for amber, and a protocol for red. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see how the public reacts to it now. We'll know better in a couple of weeks. Prime Minister, the Honorable Alan Chastney.